Hey guys, this is Steve with Tronix Fix. We have our PS4 Pro completely disassembled. I'm gonna show you guys how to replace the thermal paste and reassemble it without losing a single screw. So we've already cleaned off the APU on the motherboard, so that's completely clean. The next thing we need to do is clean the thermal paste off of the heat sink. So I'm just gonna use a couple Q-tips and just spin, kind of spin as I go. So that's gotten most of it. You can see, see there still is some on there. So I'm gonna soak a Q-tip with some isopropyl alcohol. I use 99%, but you don't have to use 99%. 99% is just gonna dry faster. And I mean, it works just a little bit better. It just means there's less water in it. So that is nice and clean, as you can see. Now we'll, I will apply new thermal paste. You can do this on the APU itself, or you can do it right on the heat sink. I actually normally do right on the APU, because then you don't have to worry about, you know, if, if you get it off to the side or something like that. But this works just fine. That's about the amount I use. And the main thing is you don't want to use a ton of it, and you don't want to use too little. I actually, you can actually use quite a bit less than that. It just needs a super thin layer once it clamps down. There just needs to be a, a, a thin layer there. So now we're gonna get the, the case out. We're gonna install this into the case. We gotta put the fan and the disc drive and that sort of thing. And then we'll go ahead and put the motherboard in. Here we have kind of our mid case. We're gonna install the fan. We're gonna install the disc drive. And then we're gonna put the metal plate over those. The first thing is we gotta get this fan in here correctly. And there we have it. Now for the fan, there's just two screws. And the nice thing about these is there's little arrows. So one screw goes there and one screw goes there. And I'm using electric screwdrivers just to make it quicker. You definitely don't have to use these. But for me, I disassemble a lot of consoles so it just makes it go so much faster. Now the disk drive, got to make sure all the cables and the Wi-Fi cables and ribbon cables are up out of the way. Then we're just going to install that carefully. And it just slides right in. Make sure it doesn't rock back and forth or anything. Make sure it's in there seated correctly. And then we'll just put the screws in next. One of the main things to remember on the disk drive is this single black screw. It goes right down here. And then one screw goes here, one screw goes here, and one screw goes here. Okay, now we have the fan installed and the disk drive installed. Now it's time to install the bottom plate that has the heat sink on it. You gotta be really careful. All of these cables and stuff need to be on top of this metal plate. So we gotta make sure that all of that happens. Once you have all the cables out of the way and you install it onto here, you can just push down and there's no play in there. It just sits nicely on there. Now we have to put the screws back onto the metal plate. There's one screw that goes here and one screw that goes there. Okay, now the metal plate is down completely and secured. Now it's time to slip the motherboard in. So here we go with the motherboard. We're gonna put the back down first and make sure that all the ports slide into their slots. And then we gotta make sure all the cables are out of the way as we lower this down. And it looks like they are. And there's no play now. It's just sat, it's sitting on there correctly. Now it's time to install the X clamp and then we've got this ribbon cable and this ribbon cable and then we've got some more ribbon cables over here so that's what we'll do next one thing unique in the ps4 pro that we haven't seen in any of the other ps4 so far is this metal plate that has the thermal pads for the ram chips so we just got to make sure we get that on correctly and it goes on just like this and just make sure all the screw holes line up and then we'll install the eight black screws. Now that that metal plate is on, we're gonna flip it over and install the power supply. Now the power supply is fairly simple, just the four pin connector connects right here, and then you just slip the power supply in, making sure these line up, the large pins line up. So we'll do that next. And then we'll install the screws. 
Now that the power supply is installed, we'll flip it over and install the top plate. So this is where the top plate goes. We have to make sure all the cables are out of the way and then we'll install the top plate and then we can put all the cables back in. Now time to install the screws back onto the top plate. We're going to start with all of the black screws that screw into the metal. Now that the black screws are installed, we'll install all of the silver screws that screw through the top plate into the plastic. Now all we have left are the Wi-Fi cables and the ribbon cables. Now that all that is installed, all we have left is the hard drive and the plastic covers. The hard drive just slides in and then there, there's the one screw that holds the hard drive in. And now it's time for the plastic covers. Bottom cover first, you need to install this part, lower it down first and then kind of slide it and keep sliding it into place. And then the back will just pop down like that. And now the bottom cover is in place. Now we'll turn it over and install the top cover. The top cover, we start from the back, slide it forward, and then just kind of uh, push the clips down as we go. And there we go. Now all we have to do is install the little cover that goes over the hard drive and then the three black screws that go on the back. So the third black screw in the back does need to go under the hard drive cover. So you need to install that first and then the hard drive cover. And there we have it. The PS4 Pro is now completely assembled and we have no parts left over. Now that my PS4 Pro is fully assembled, it's time to go test it out. Thanks for watching.